Hi, everyone, and welcome to Unit 8 on Concurrent Triangulation Design and Mixed Methods Research. Like always, I've put together some materials for you that include uh, readings, videos, a discussion board for you to think about, also uh, an additional reading for that discussion board. But also, I want you to pay careful attention to how is this particular design unique and different from the pre three previous weeks on sequential designs. We, we looked at explain, explanatory, um, uh, we looked at uh, the, the transformation, we also looked at exploratory designs. Now we're going into concurrent triangulation. You know about triangulation, but we're going to dive deeper into how does that happen uh, when we're conducting concurrent designs or collecting qualitative and quantitative data at the same time. So some of the things I want you to pay attention to are uh, to what degree are the quantitative and qualitative data weighted? Uh, is there a difference between the two? Is one more important in this particular design? Also, what are the challenges and limitations of this design? I know sometimes it's difficult if you're collecting a lot of data at one time to be able to do it successfully. What are some nuances and tricks of the trade that we can do to try to get around that? Um, and then again, I've also created a PowerPoint for you to guide you through the process with an example. Uh, I think you've probably conducted this type of research previously, if I had to guess, or you would definitely will be doing it uh, in your career moving forward. It's one of the most uh, popular or common designs out there that, again, uh, involves both qualitative and quantitative uh, data collection. Uh, look, think about when does the analysis occur? When does the integration of the data occur? When does the interpretation, all those things? it's important for you to be able to have this visual moving forward. So those are some things to look forward to this week. Again, we have a discussion board post that I look forward to participating uh, in that. And I also look forward to uh, finishing up um, uh, with your guided notes from this past week. Once again, as always, take care and have an incredible week ahead. Cheers.